Oh. Oh my god. <sighs> Would you hire us to do this? I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. I'm good at poking little things through holes. <laughs> That's how I was born. <laughs> I'm back in sunny old England and normally I would say that sarcastically but today actually is sunny so it's a perfect day to carry on with the customization of my Moto Guzzi V7 Special. While I was away in Asia I've had a big delivery of parts so we're going to show you what we're going to do with this bike over the next few weeks and there seems to be a slight issue with the bike. So I want to get to the bottom of that and hopefully I can sort it out. I have a, an inkling in my head of what it could be. So let's take a look. So first on the list today, number one is, I've got terrible handwriting, so I don't know why I'm bothering writing on here, is uh, take the exhaust off. I, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, you write it. Look at it, it looks like I'm writing in Russian. Number one, is the exhaust. Take the exhaust off, put it back on, and see if that sorts out the tappity noise. Um, did I mention that there's a tappity noise? I didn't, so well, the right side is making a tapping noise, and that's because, well, I don't know. So I think perhaps there might be a little um, difference in pressure because the gasket's not on quite fully on the right side of the exhaust. So you want to take it off, put it back on. Hopefully that'll sort it. Number two is rear mudguard. I've got a short rear mudguard that I want to fit and also a new number plate on the back. Now I've got a bench seat in brown leather. Number three. Should we start? That's it. <laughs> so, if you haven't watched the first episode of this series, um, go back and check it out. It's literally putting this exhaust on and first uh, impressions and sound of this exhaust, which is, oh, I need a spanner, don't I? Um, it's a very good sounding exhaust. Um, but one of the things that I'm going to do is take the decibel killers out the back, put a new air filter in, velocity stack, and retune the bike. So that's at a future episode. So um, stay tuned for that one as well. I forgot I need a spanner as well. It's bloody boiling. It's October. I'm gonna have to take this off. I'm, I'm too hot, I'm, I'm sweating. I feel like I'm back in Thailand. Oh, that's better. I'm wearing the wrong t-shirt for this, aren't I? Harley Davidson t-shirt. But uh, I, I got these new glasses because I was fed up with the comments telling me about my wonky sunglasses. So I thought, oh, I'll just get a new pair. These are Ryden Sun's glasses, which are the same as a lot of the riding gear that I wear uh, from XL Moto. So if you want to check them out, the link is in the description. Uh, but let's get this exhaust off. Oh, where have I put the Allen key? Now this little gasket here, I think, could be the issue because it's slightly not fully in, whereas the other side is, and the sound is coming from the right side. So I don't know whether it's um, a little bit of a leak around here, don't, not sure if it is that, or whether it's because the pressure's slightly different and that's making something in here compensate for that. And I'm no mechanic, so um, I'm just guessing, but I want to rule that out um, also, I'm a little bit OCD, so the fact that that's slightly sticking out is annoying my brain anyway, because I'm thinking about it. So I want to take that out, put it back in properly, see if that sorts it out. <sighs> it's hot! Wilson, Wilson. Right, well that's back on. The gasket is flush. So, fingers crossed that was the issue. Let's start it up and see if it's still making the tappy noise. I want to start. Do I have to put a clutch in? Not good, is it? No. 
Oh, that's why. <laughs> Not press that. Yeah, it helps if you turn it on. Yeah, it helps if you turn it on, doesn't it? So we forgot to check the oil again, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I mean, it's got oil in it, but whether it's up to the level. Well, it should but, but be. It's definitely louder. Yeah. It's coming from the cylinder, isn't it? So I think it's the tappets. Yeah. So what's next? Number one, exhaust. Number two. Mudguard. Mudguard, let's do that. Yeah. That might be fiddly because we've never done any wiring before, have we? No. So I think it's only two wires, so hopefully it's straightforward. I was just going to change lens on the camera to the wide angle lens. I didn't, I forgot the old man has one, but he just said, why don't we put the wide angle on? I said, why didn't we do that in the first place? <laughs> so we're going to put that on and then take these bits out of the box uh, so you'll actually be able to see it. Because uh, this lens is quite zoomed in, so we'd have to stand uh, in the next door neighbour's roof to get it all in the shot. I thought I'd have a big pile of boxes that actually there's a, it's so well packaged, there's a lot more in here than I initially thought. Well, there's the mud guard. So, it's about half the uh, size of the existing one. Hopefully it's not too difficult, it doesn't look too bad. So I'll unwrap that in a second. But I'm so desperate to see the seat, so I need to get that out. But that's right at the bottom. Very blunt. This, I think this is the bit I'm most excited about. <laughs> Look at that. Stunning. That is absolutely beautiful. <gasps> well, that'll be the easiest thing to fit too. Yeah, I know. That's oh my gonna, God. That's going to make a massive difference. I think it'll fit with the sanded uh, mudguard. Better do. But I'm taking it off anyway. Yeah. It doesn't actually go down. It's got like rubber. Now, while I'm uh, unwrapping this mud guard for Darcy, um, we did a video a little while ago in Stanford where we took uh, this bike, no, not Darcy's bike. Incidentally, that wasn't the, the reason, that we took a, a Husqvarna Sfart pillin or Vip pillin to Stanford to ask young people why they weren't into motorbikes or whether they were or what they liked and we didn't intend to have that in the video it wasn't part of the plan uh, but as it was there every time we asked someone they said well oh, prefer the Gutsy." so we discovered and from the comments afterwards that most young people prefer classic designs modern classic designs uh, and that seems to be unanimous i'd say 95 percent of young people prefer classic designs so if manufacturers are making modern looking bikes to attract younger people it's not working um, but we were saying, uh, on an aside to that point, um, Darcy's interested in uh, getting a new car, I'll tell you what it is in a second. Uh, two or three of his friends, most of his friends, own um, what you might now class as modern classic cars. So young people seem to be going for that style of thing rather than modern things. So um, if you've had that same experience, let us know because it seems to be unanimous as far as what we can see. We are expert mechanics, you realise that? We, we are trained at doing this uh, <coughs> by baboons. So that's why we're not very good. You're probably going to have to move that sticker there because that's going to show where the seat's going to go, isn't it? It's not very nice, is it? No. Let's get rid of that. So, I hate these stickers. Why don't they put ones that are easy to peel off? That's not too bad, to be fair. Oh, off. It's all on my thumb. Right, found the right spanner. Anyway, um, but yeah, what you were saying, I'm looking at a new car because at the minute I've got a BMW M235i and it's quite a modern sort of sports car. And I just, 
it's got no character or soul. And if you know me, I like character and soul. So I sort of piqued my interest, which is strange because you used to have a Jaguar XJ6, a 2006 model. I loved it. You loved it. I hated it at the time because I was a teenager and I said, oh, it's an old man's car. Oh, it's horrible. Uh, but now I look at it and I go, oh, it's a nice car. But the only issue with that XJ6 was that it didn't really have any oomph, did it? Mm. That engine was a little bit lacking. Only if you want to drive spiritedly, otherwise it was lovely. Which I do. So <laughs> there is another model called the XJR, which has a 4.2 litre supercharged V8. That's stunning. And it's beautiful. And we found, for fuck's sake, trying not to do that. Done that. Dropped a bolt. No. Uh, and uh, we found a beautiful one, haven't we? Oh, so, yeah. um, if you've not yet checked out our car channel called Darcy's Drive, I've only done two videos on it, but we intend to do many more. So, go and head, head over to that page and check it out. I'll put the link in the description. Um, but there's going to be plenty of videos about this Jaguar, and it's oh, absolute beauty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And we're not going to put cars on this channel anymore. We did, we did a couple, and you know, it's not. It's, it's meant for your other channel. Um, yeah, I think you, it's, it's, you've got to try on YouTube. Sometimes you've got to try something different. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. You um, never know. So you try, do you? Yeah, no. So we've got the uh, this Mr. Darcy and the Old Man channel. We've got uh, extra Mr. Darcy and the Old Man for bits and pieces that don't fit on here. And we've got the shorts, Mr. Darcy and the old man. <laughs> and we've got Darcy's Drive for cars. Yeah, and we've got Instagram. Yeah, Instagram's and doing TikTok. well. If you haven't looked at Instagram, we've got almost, we've got over 60,000 followers on there now. Yeah. The start of the year, we had 2,000. Well, we didn't really bother with it until this year, did we? No, I tried bits and bobs, but I didn't really understand it. But now I'm like, I've, you know, I've got the gist. I seem to know what to do on there now. You don't, you've not touched it. I, don't, I wouldn't let you go on it in a I've not, I haven't looked on Instagram for years. No, you wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> now, there's a very high chance that this is going to F up, isn't there? Is there? Yeah. Let's do that. Because every time I ever do anything, it seems like a simple job. I've just got half an hour spare. I don't do that. And then four hours later, sweat, tears, blood, I'm still doing it and usually break something in the process. So, uh, hold... Your breath, not, because this could go wrong. Oh dear. Talking about classic cars, I was watching a film last night with Florence Pugh in it. Um, it's sort of set in the 1950s, I think. I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, and they're all driving these... It looks like Newtown, you know, from that oh, game. Oh, really? From yeah, Black Ops? Yeah, it's like that. Oh, the cars. Like 1950s-looking cars. They're stunning. Yeah. Now, look at cars. I always say in recent videos, I've been saying about modern cars, I hate them. Um, they've got no style to them, so... No, I've completely, like, decided I hate modern cars. Yeah. I hate them. I've well, got nothing about them. I've just bought a brand new Jeep, haven't I? Wrangler, yeah. but it's the, one of the only cars you can get that still look like a, an original design. Um, the Morgan being another one, which is beautiful. I Some, find, I mean, we've sort of been experimenting a bit, really, haven't we? Like, yeah. But, uh... You know, some sometimes I make a video and I think this is one of the best videos I've ever made. And it gets five thousand views. Mm -hmm. hey, what the hell? Why aren't you watching it? So if you've not watched these videos, go and watch them. Shall I take these out? I'm nearly done look. Oh uh, fucking oh, well oh, um, too late. Too late. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <sighs> so would you hire us two to do this? I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Is there a bolt underneath? Hello? Yes. No, it was like a not a bolt, but a clamp on the bottom of that. See, that was expertly done, Darcy. I know, I'm so good, aren't I? Yeah, hang on. I'm good at poking little things through holes. <laughs> That's how I was born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are going to stop for lunch, but before we do that, we're just going to see if the seat fits on the frame because tried to put it on with the standard mudguard and it was not sitting right so now that that's gone down I want to see that it actually fits it should do it should fit so 
is it made to not have the hand, the um, mm. grab rail on? I think it is, you know. But you have to take the do that where the suspension is. Yeah. Is that the only thing holding it? Yeah, it must be. Yeah. yeah. Tell you what, mm. while we're looking at it, this bike has got Michelin Road Classic tyres. And I really like these tyres. Oh, they look lovely. And I've actually got faith in them. Because uh, the tyres that were on my Harley were rubbish. I mean, any inkling of wet and you'd go sideways. But these, these are really nice. Does this side panel pull off? Yes. Just pull? Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> Maybe we can take this uh, wire out the other side, I'm just thinking. Oh, right. That, as I say, the slit that you should come out of is closed. Yeah, okay. So we'd have to open it and then... Uh, I've only taken that them. panel off. But you can, you just sort of unscrew it here and then put it off. But I suppose you'd have to... Uh, I think we should do that. Allen key. Oh, I know the Allen key because this is good. Moto Gutsy oh. put the Allen key under the seat. No, that's good. Yes. Well done, the Italians. <coughs> oh, I need to get that meth, don't I? So, yeah, you've got your addiction. I have, yes. <laughs> do you know, I'm talking about a meth. Have you ever seen someone addicted to meths? The other meths. Huh? What, that meth? This stuff. Really? Yeah. Oh, what? God. We're sure it's not the... No, this. Really? When I was a kid, um, I used to go to Liverpool Street Station to go to Chelmsford to see my dad. Um, oh, Christ. Oh, I had to put so much pressure on that. Christ. <laughs> fell forward. Yeah, we went to go <clears throat> Liverpool Street Station. And around and about that area, in the 1970s, there was these meths addicted drunks. But it's the funniest drunk you've ever seen, because when they take... Don't, don't do it, please. Um, it's, it makes them completely mad because it's obviously very toxic, but it's so funny to watch. I mean, it's like a, a drunk on extra idiot juice. It's just so funny. So, where's the rear mug guard, the new one? This is my motorcycle. This one's metal. Is it? Yeah. The new one? Yeah. Oh, good. Stand up on plastic. There we go. Right, well what do we do with that? Uh, oh, fiddle. It hasn't got the same connector, has it? No. Oh, come on. All oh, of those need to plug in something and then... It should be obvious when you get there. Really? Yeah. How hard can it be? That's famous last words. Tighten it up, or should we, we put the wires in? Maybe put the, put the wires in. Right. right, so we've got so, the... That's on. Five, now four. we've got to figure out that's where the wires go. Right, so we've attached what we think are the right wires for this tail light. So let's turn... I don't have to turn the engine on, but just turn no. the... No, turn the switch. Right switch, yeah. Right. So the light's on. Well, we've done that bit then. That's correct. And it's... Do, what about the brakes? Let's see if that... That didn't do anything, did it? But maybe that's what we're now about to wire up. But this this little wire is for the just for that number plate. Okay. So, uh, do you think it could be? Is that all those three wires? Black and red's right. So maybe try the the other yellow. Turn the key off. Let's try that again. That's still on. Brake light. Yes. That's it. <laughs> Oof. Trial and error. More error. So I'll turn it off. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> there might be a money voltage with it, anyway. I doubt it. That's good. So, <laughs> All right. All right. that's the brake light sorted. That's beautiful design, nice, isn't it? Yeah, Absolutely good. stunning. Right, pull really happy with that. Plastic covers over. Have you got a nice yellow number plate to go on? I've got a nice black one to go on. <laughs> So it's uh, 
it was shrunk in the post. Did it? it shrunk? Yeah. I think something might have stained the, the yellow black. Yeah, the yellow came black and the the black writing somehow went silver. And yeah. uh, well, it I shrunk. That in it the might rain. have been, uh, I think I put too much water on yeah, it. Yeah, I went shrunk. for a ride in the rain and it turned out to be black and silver. I don't know how yeah, that, I don't know how that yeah. happened. Uh, oh well. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> right, now this should, let's turn the thing on again. There's a little light there. Yes! <laughs> oh, goodness me. Excellent. Right, that's satisfying, isn't it? I'm yeah, that's good, good, actually. actually I'm enjoying this. Have a go, it's quite a good one. Uh, should we do more of this? Yes. Should we buy a project bike? Is that actually. taking it too far? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Google Translate because it's in French. Um, green wire is right, so. grey wire is left. Now do we want to get these to be as neat as possible don't we? So where are we going to put Hello. them? Hello. Yes. <laughs> oh thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> just doing some modifications to it. Yeah just changing this new mug guard and a, a brown seat. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. I think core is the word I'm going to use. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. It's gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Very yeah. kind of you. Into motorbikes? Yeah, I, I've had a few. Yeah. Have you? My, my kids bought me a motorbike for my 50th birthday, so oh, I wow. learned how to ride. That's a nice present. I know. <laughs> what was it? Well, the, the one I they bought, they didn't know that I liked a cruiser style, so right. they bought me a different motorbike, which actually right. I didn't like. Okay. My brother and I grew up with differences. I thought cruisers were always the best, and he didn't. Yeah. Anyway. Right, okay. Um, I eventually got, um, I had. I started off with a little... My, my memory's going, uh, Honda Rebel, oh, 125. Cool. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. You know, to yeah, yeah. And then I yeah. went up to about a 650. Okay. My husband yeah. wouldn't be seen yeah. dead in one. Really? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I used yeah. to leave the house and his little face used to be pushed up to the window saying, come back safely. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, bless. This yeah. is just absolutely oh, Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Lovely. Yeah, I'm very yeah. pleased with that. You were doing a little bit of customising uh, to it, so make well it a bit more personal. Is it new? Have you just it's, yeah, I've had it for about three months. Right, okay. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I love it. There's some, once you ride one of these, I think you well, just I'm, get the itch for it. Yeah, I've never it's, been uh, on a Harley at all. This is a Moto Guzzi. Oh, it is a Moto Guzzi? Yeah, yeah. It's so he it says here, look. Yes, Moto yeah. Guzzi. Yeah, it's, it's often referred to as the Italian Harley. Harley. Yeah, because it's a V-twin, yeah. but it's out to the side. Uh, I did have a Harley, but I'm trying to sell it at the minute. Now, this little doggy had six puppies a week ago, but unfortunately all of them died because they were born a week premature. And uh, we had one of them survive the whole week and it died just early as this morning, so she's a bit distraught. We're upset, of course. Um, but, you know, that's nature, isn't it? It's cruel. Yeah. But she's just got to get used to the idea that they're not around. What's that, that noise? Here? What's that noise? What is it? Don't like, don't like a uh, camera. On? Did that light come on? That's, that's on, on, that's on. Let's double check the brake. Right, with indicators. Oh. That's right. What? That's left. And the front one's still working, because that could be an issue. Yeah. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. yeah. Done. Excellent. Now we just put these wires in, but I realised that the wire coming across there is going to be visible, and I don't want that. So I looked at a cross-reference of an image of one that's been done on their website. Oh, pardon me. And um, these bits are from a company called Bark, by the way, B-A-A-K. I think it's Bark, it might be back. I don't know, I think it's Bark. And uh, if we wire it behind this wire for this lamp, then that will keep it tucked in and you won't be able to see the wires, really. Um, yeah, you kind of want it to go... Um, or yeah. even behind that bracket, do you think? It's just not sitting flat. It's not right. No, it's not. Don't tell me you have to modify the frame. I mean, it can't be the right seat. No. Let's 
this is a huge gap. That's not right. Now, we're having a bit of trouble with the seat because it just doesn't seem to want to go in. So I'm going to try and make sure it actually fits because I'm almost thinking that it doesn't even fit. <laughs> but why don't you push down on it in the hole? How do I know it's in the hole? It might be because it's new, you've got to push it forward to compress some of the. the um... It's got to go further forward. You can't yeah, do it at the time, can you? No. Uh, oh, Christ. I don't know how much I'm pushing it. <laughs> well, that's not right, is no, it? No, it's not right, is it? Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. That's how it goes on. Yeah, I know. No effort whatsoever. Hmm. That doesn't look bad to be honest. No, but it's not how I want it. I like the bench seat. But that, that follows the contour of the... Well, that's, yeah. That, if you sat on it, that would be touching the frame, and that is touching the frame. So that's being supported. That is nowhere near. No, I know. So... Oh. They either sent you the wrong seat or they haven't designed it properly. But you can't live with it. That's not right. No, it's not, is it? Nothing's going to change that. That does not fit. Post, so huh. that, that is a shame, isn't it? It's so, bad. as usual, things don't go quite go to plan, <laughs> but at least we've got that on. So, number plate is on, rear mount guard is on, all finished, the lights work, we figured it out, but the seat doesn't fit. So, I don't know why that is, so I put the standard seat back on, it just seems like the mould isn't right. So I'm going to have to contact uh, Bark, back, I don't know how to say it, I still don't know how to say it, um, and see what's going on. Hopefully they can uh, advise or send me another seat because I'm not paying another 500 quid for another seat. <laughs> so uh, that's that. Anyway, at least this works for now. I've put the grab bar back on. I kind of want to keep this on because my girlfriend wants it on. So I, initially I thought that was what was meaning that the seat couldn't go on, but clearly it's not. So maybe I can keep that on. Uh, it doesn't detract from the look, does it? I don't think so, but this rear end looks so much more sleek and from the side it just gives you a nicer line which is better when you've got a bench seat but I haven't got that yet. So we'll figure that out. I've also got bars to put on the bike. I've got different switch gears, uh, different um, controls etc. So pff, I don't think we'll be attempting that ourselves um, but We'll see. And exhaust, yeah, and exhaust. So we've got to take the decibel killers out, redo a tune, um, not redo a tune, do a tune, and put an air filter in, etc., etc. So that's to come in a future episode as well. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it, and fingers crossed, in the future, we can uh, get this seat to fit.